So just uh, one last outing for the solar charge controller in its current form um, because there are going to be quite a lot of changes taking place to this project uh, now, now that I've done work on various aspects of it. So one of the things I'm going to do is get rid of the 9 volt battery and the oscillator here which produces the pulse width modulation signal for the MOSFET and that's because the Arduino I've now got a method of getting it to generate the 15 kilohertz uh, frequency um, I've also devised the dual complementary opto isolator driver so that the Arduino will be able to drive the MOSFET uh, to switch it on and off so that this middle section here is going to go and I'll put the buck converter which is up here on the right into this section in a Y shape MOSFET there inductor there and the diode going down to ground so that it's a bit more obvious what's going on now another thing I'm going to do is um, power the Arduino not from rechargeable batteries anymore but it might as well be powered from the 12 volt side uh, originally I didn't do that because uh, I didn't always have a battery on this side I, I was putting the uh, the lamb on there the large array of miniature bulbs uh, early on in the project but now it's always going to be a battery on the right hand side so uh, Arduino is happy driving uh, running from 12 volts so that's what I'm going to do um, to power the Arduino. Now when the buck converter has been moved over to this area where currently the uh, oscillator is then this area on the right will be made available and uh, what I'm going to do is put a current and voltage sensor very much like the ones up this end so that I can measure watts coming out of the buck converter going into the battery and by comparing watts coming out of the system with watts going into the system I can calculate an efficiency percentage. Now I have made one small change to the software um, which is up in the top right of the screen it's that kind of wiper blade line which is supposed to indicate where the dot is on the um, IV curve it helps a bit I think so uh, it was the idea was that it would help a little bit with finding the maximum power point suns in and out today so it's difficult to sort of get a consistent result one thing I will be keeping is the uh, potentiometer although there'll be a mechanism for switching between manual control like this and full auto uh, feedback loop closed loop feedback control um, on a switch somewhere which I don't have at the moment but uh, I'll add that at some point and the other thing of course um, with a voltage measuring device on the battery side it'll be possible to implement the um, the other uh, feedback control mechanism which will be that when the battery gets up to 13 and a half volts it's no longer required to maximize power in fact uh, it'll be needed to uh, bring the power down in order to hold the battery at that voltage the flow voltage so Big changes uh, coming for the solar MPPT charge controller project and I suspect also big changes are coming to the weather because uh, no longer do we have that glorious wall-to-wall -wall sunshine but uh, we'll push on. <laughs>